There we go. From episode start, yes. <laughs> New victims get named be named Rick Astley. Yes, I got that. I got that as soon as I read it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some fucking anime bullshit. This is like cartoon Okami. Yeah, get him, Ami. <laughs> long, long ago, the nine tailed fox defeated the evil Tenmataro and sealed the fallen demon away. Look, that Ami's to prince. this day, it is said that he slumbers even still within the Forbidden Chamber. No, I know it was it was Nine Tails. Nine Tails is Nine, is nine painted, Alderman. Okami. Sweet oh, dreams. Uh -huh. At long last, the revival of Ten Mataro is at hand. Oh, fuck. Are they revived? Like, are, it, did he free a literal monster? Like, actually? A few months prior to the courthouse bombing. Oh, this was in the past. Hey! What am I drinking tea? I'm drinking some tea. So, yeah, we're, this is great. We're fucking time traveling. Motherfucker. Um, this tea's really good. It's like, um, spirulina, citrus, citrus something tea. It's really good. Okay. We're at the Right Anything Agency. Yay! And Trucy clearly still has her stuff all over the place. Also, I see a very good Papa hat up there. From Phoenix's Hobo Days. April 7th, it's a few days before 420. Hmm. Guess I'm a little early. Hey, Apollo! Getting an early start today? Yeah, this is the first job I've had in a while, after all. Well, aren't we all fired up? Well, it's not every day I get a call from Mr. Wright. What kind of work is it anyway? Mr. Wright didn't mention any details. Hold on, I just realized I didn't rearrange my desk so that I can press the mouse comfortably and also lean back in the chair. So give me a second. <laughs> While I move everything. On the floor. Okay. Ah, <sighs> what kind of work is it anyway? Mr. Wright didn't mention any details. Work? Is that how he put it? Don't tell me he just wants me to clean the toilet again. You've really become a fixture around here, Apollo. Come to think of it, it's been almost a year since I was hired. A lot's happened since then. But I settled in nicely despite a few bumps in the road. Given that Apollo's win rate is 100% so far, why does, he, why does he have trouble getting clients? <laughs> good, good question. They <laughs> get scared off by the yelling. Yeah, his cords of steel train his voice so much that he's just super intimidating. I should I should probably be, be like yelling half the time when I'm doing his voice, but I think it would kill my throat. I'm Apollo and I'm fine! My name is Apollo Justice. I've been practicing law for about a year, but I still have a lot to learn. This is the Right Anything Agency, and it's where I work. Don't let the name fool you. It's definitely a law agency. But don't forget that this place is a talent agency too, Polly. Uh, it's the law agency part of this office that's usually forgotten. This is Trucy Wright, a budding magician and adopted daughter of the agency's owner, Phoenix Wright. Uh, she sometimes makes me help with her magic tricks. And what's wrong with that? You're one of the uh, agency's talents as well. I was under the impression that I was a lawyer. Oh, we'd better hurry. Uh, doesn't look like daddy's gonna make it, so let's get going. Um, Apollo and Trucy do not know. They have no idea. Um. 
Uh, I, for one, 100% approve of that cape. That cape is very good. I really like her cape. I like her outfit design. Let's go find out information. My cherished attorney's badge, just putting it on, makes me feel ready. Oh, we only have Trucy here. Okay. I like it when they show, like, your profile as well, and then it has, like, comments about yourself. I think that's fun. They didn't, they didn't do it that in this game, though. Is this the one with the red head? Are you talking about the attorney, Athena? Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, huh. Where are we going? What about the job you mentioned? This is the job, Polly. You're supposed to keep me company today. Great, we have to babysit. Uh, now, come on. Another day of not being a lawyer. Should have seen this coming. Well, this is the right anything agency, you know. And there's no law-related work at the moment, so... Tell me again why I chose to work here. Where is Mr. Wright, anyway? Daddy said something about going to meet an acquaintance. But don't worry. Just focus on your job and I'll tell you exactly what you need to know. Well, let's go. We don't have all day. Wait, wait a second. <sighs> and another day of anything goes begins at the right anything agency. <sighs> I don't like that animated spider. <laughs> wait, why is this one not an- okay. Nine Tails Vale, Yokai Lane. Apollo's fine! He's fine! We got a noodle shop. This is a very good, um, parasol over here. Okay. Ew. So, what are we doing way up here in the mountains? This is Ninetales Vale. Everybody's been talking about the yokai craze here. Yokai? Oh, you mean Japanese monsters? Guess that explains all these weird things. Speaking of which, wasn't Ninetales Vale founded by Japanese immigrants? Yeah, they're holding a festival to boost tourism over at the Alderman's Manor. My friend who works there invited us. That's why we're here. In other words, I'm your chaperone because your dad was too busy. Daddy said that with those horns of yours, you'd make a great addition to their festival. I mean, you look just like a Japanese Winter demon. Meat. Wasn't that the awful thing, Polly? You I watch. <laughs> no, you know what? Although I think those two games came out around the same time. Like, I think that series was released around the same time. Hmm. I could do without thoughtfulness like that. Oh, it's almost time. Come on, Polly. The festival grounds are this way. All right. Guess it's time to move to the QB Manor's garden. Hello there, Plum. Okay. Uh, talk? Let's talk about the monster craze. Hello there, sword. How's it going? <laughs> Apollo's enthusiasm for life is contagious, clearly. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I hate that everyone has access to that fucking emote now. It's also good night bedtime. Have a wonderful night, Plum. Thanks for stopping in and saying hi. Just finished DMing your first session ever. Yo, that sounds awesome. Congrats. Uh, okay, this monster craze, come to think of it, I think I heard about it on TV. It's supposedly how Ninetales Vale made a comeback from the brink of fiscal disaster. Hmm. Our agency sure could use something positive like that. Oh, I know. Let's jump on board the monster craze. You and Daddy would be a perfect comedy duo. You could call yourselves... Agni and Rudra. I don't actually know what this is a reference to. Demon Kings of Comedy. Mm. Daddy sets them up and you knock them down. Hey, I think we hit the jackpot with this idea. That spider was kind of creeping me out until I saw that umbrella. Yeah, that umbrella! The parasol is, like, fucking adorable. Is that considered a parasol? 
either umbrella shaped object. <laughs> it's super cute. It looks like um like a, a link to the past enemy. <laughs> This morning, Ronnie decided to make Tommy a tier one emote. Yes, I heard, I heard about that. I saw, because I saw, as soon as I, like, I tuned into Spoon's stream today, he's like, hey, check this out, and I was like, what the fuck? Uh. Um, okay. Um, sorry, but I plan on staying a lawyer. You do? You don't have to act so surprised by that. Bless Ronnie and her generosity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you're looking for a Tommy Pickles emote, go check out Ronnie D's channel. You can subscribe and have a fucking Tommy Pickles emote. <laughs> uh. Hey, Trucy, have you seen my attorney's badge? How could you lose something so important? Sometimes I really wonder about you, Apollo. This is so weird. I wonder if I dropped it somewhere? Did I really lose my attorney's badge? What? It's right here. Hollow. Oh, look! What are these panties doing here? Forget about panties. I'm looking for my badge. <laughs> great, great, wonderful. Did you forget? These are my magic panties. Um, I love this. I love this. <laughs> hey, that's my attorney's badge. Wow, how'd you do that? I set it all up when we were back at the office. Wow, I didn't even... Wait, you took my badge? She's working on a Halloween version, oh gosh. <laughs> That's so weird that ugh, that blue alert thing is. Uh sure is something. Should we present what happens if I present the attorney's badge? Check it out. You're so lucky, Apollo. Everyone can see what you do with just a flash of your badge. What about you, Trucy? People can tell you're a magician by the way you're dressed. Yeah, but I can't always dress like this. Like, when I'm at school and stuff. You could always show you're a magician by, you know, like, making things appear or disappear. You mean like this? Is she gonna pull out her panties again? Yep. <laughs> I like that this is his own fucking animation in the game. Um... Magic or no, aren't you a little old to be showing those things in public? Hmm. Then maybe I'll become a lawyer, too. You're abandoning your dream just like that? <laughs> okay, let's- let's go. Let's continue. Um... The garden. I forgot that the backgrounds are all fucking animated, too, in this game. Like, the swinging lights. It's really cool. Wow, this place is really something. It definitely feels like a different world here. Brucey. Jinxie! And this is... My friend, Jinxie Tenma. She's the one who invited us. She just happens to be the maid here. Two horns. A love of red? Are you a demon? No. <laughs> I'm Apollo Justice. Nice to meet you. Ah! He is a demon! What the? <laughs> it was a very good effect. Badger, 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 badger. Mushroom, mushroom. Be gone, foul beast. <laughs> you look great, Polly. Fills in some of that space on your forehead. Uh, what is this thing? Winter mute. Mug, mug, mug. Mug, mug, mug. 
Um, should I turn down? I just realized, I think, I wonder if this is resetting my volume every time. I just realized how much louder the audio was. Let's see if that's better. Jinxie is adorable. Um, it's a warding charm. Jinxie puts them on all the monsters she finds. Um, but I'm not a monster. Maybe I should have just told her you're a good demon. Or you could just say that I'm human. Ugh, the red demon? Emissary of the underworld. I got up early to do my hair for this. Um, can I take this off now? So you can eat me? I'm not gonna eat you. Ah, forgive me, oh terrible one. Tone down your cords of steel, Apollo. You're scaring her out of her wits. Confirmed that <laughs> Apollo is too loud. <laughs> um, don't worry, I'm already full. Please stay that way. Great, now I'm playing along too. He's yelling 70% of the time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fuck. Okay, let's talk. Should I show her my attorney's badge first? Wait, can I not present? Oh. Would you mind taking a look at this? No, this is default response. Ah, no thank you. Be gone, foul demon. Ugh, banished again. That's what you get when you flash a girl like that, even if it was just your badge. <laughs> Words of wisdom. <laughs> From Trucy. Thanks, Trucy. <laughs> Sheesh, you make it sound like I'm some kind of creep. <laughs> God damn it. Ninetales Veil. Um, so I wanted to ask you about Ninetales Veil. Ah! He's gone! Foul demon! Looks like you've just been demonized, Polly. Oh, sorry. Looks like you've just been demonized, Polly. Literally. I'm starting to wonder if I really am a demon myself. Um. Ah! Please don't eat me! I have food if you're hungry. This isn't working. We won't get anything out of her until we set the record straight. If only we had some way to prove you're not as scary as you look. What? You mean like the thing I literally just tried to do? <laughs> Ouch. Unnecessary roughness. Looks like I have to present some proof. Proof that I'm 100% human. Okay. So, okay, that's really funny because that means that dialogue line was like, if you didn't present the badge first, you never would have seen that. That was, that was interesting. Okay. Um, I wanted to show you this. Ah, what is it? It's my attorney's badge. You see, I'm not a demon. I'm a lawyer. Really? You're a lawyer? Ugh, maybe now she'll stop calling me a demon. Does it protect you from uh, Enma Dio's judgment? Who's Enma Dio? I read somewhere that he's the demon lord who punishes the dead for their sins. Uh-oh. I think she thinks you're a demon lawyer from hell, Polly. Can I go back to being just a normal demon? Please, please don't boil me in a scalding cauldron. I'd prefer a Turkish bath if possible. A Turkish bath? Isn't that more sauna than a bath? Don't worry, Jinxie. He's a good demon. He'll save you if you ever go astray. Oh, please, Mr. Demon Lawyer, sir. Have mercy on my soul. Ugh, I told you I'm not a demon, and Trucy, you're just making things worse. Ah! <laughs> Angry Trucy! <laughs> um... You just leave that Enma Dio to me. Isn't that great, Jinxie? 
Uh-huh. I'm no longer scared to cross into the afterlife. Will someone tell these two I'm human already? New dialogue. So, Jinxie, I hear this village is the epicenter of the monster craze. Uh-huh. Barely anyone had even heard of it before, but now it's packed with tourists. Really? So the monster craze is the reason behind today's festival? It was the alderman's idea, but I'd be careful if I were you. There are lots and lots of yokai prowling about Ninetales Vale. Prowling about? You mean, like, wild animals or something? Uh-huh, and they're hungry, too. Man-eating monsters? And they're all over the place? Uh-huh. In fact, there was one at the manor yesterday. I heard the doorbell ring, but when I opened the door, nobody was there. It was the ding-dong demon! How else could you explain it? The ding-dong demon. Okay. Well, when I was a kid, my friends used to play this prank called Ding Dong Ditch. Well, that doesn't prove yokai aren't real. There's even one here at the manor. The demon, Tenma Taro. He's imprisoned in the Forbidden Chamber. Tenma... Taro? The Forbidden Chamber? Um... Hey there, Doge! How's it going? Hope you're doing well tonight. Um... <laughs> Ding Dong Demon is a great name. It definitely is. Uh, it proves that Apollo is a demon, yes. <laughs> Poor Jinxie. Um... About that yokai you said was imprisoned here at the manor. Is that true? Uh-huh. He's a super evil demon, demon named Tenma Taro. Here, take a look at this scroll. Are we pl are we playing Okami again? <laughs> the Ten Materos, uh, the dark demon you can see here. He's super evil and super scary. So that's the yokai imprisoned in the Forbidden Chamber. Uh. Doing pretty well tonight. How is the best heckin Metroid ever? Aw, thank you. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I got my tea, so hopefully I won't injure my voice too much trying to do like a little, a little tiny bit of voice acting here. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm doing good. Uh, okay. Uh huh. He was defeated by the village garden yo gar garden, the village garden yokai, the village guardian yokai. The nine-tailed fox. And locked away forever. So, you're saying Ten Mataro is still trapped inside the Forbidden Chamber? Uh-huh, but he's just biding his time until he can escape. Still, we should be perfectly safe. Because there's a really powerful sealing charm on the door keeping it shut tight. What a... charming security system. You can keep the scroll if you want. The alderman gave me this, but just holding it gives me the chills, so... Uh, uh, thanks, Jinxie. Uh, maybe I'll give this to Mr. Wright. Oh, nope. Can't click details from there. Very good scroll. Okay. OBJECTION! Objection. So, I was wondering. Are those things on your forehead also warding charms, Jinxie? <laughs> yeah, she did just give the demon scroll to a demon. <laughs> she was not the right person to hold on to that. You're very right, economist. <laughs> uh, yes, they're there. They're there to prevent. Uh, yeah, they're there to prevent evil things from getting inside me. Papa told me to wear them. Evil things. Ap 
hollow. Don't you dare take those charms off her forehead. Don't piss off Trucy. If there's anything I've learned from this game so far, it's don't piss off Trucy. She gets really mad. They have to stay there forever. Got it? I wonder what would happen if I did take them off. It's time for me to get back to work. Thanks for inviting us, Jinxie. You're welcome. Oh, and, and before I forget, there's gonna be a surprise event today. Even I don't know what to expect, but it's sure to be fun. Better not be a yokai parade. She'd probably drop dead from fright. Hmm? Oh! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, demon? Oh, wait. It's just someone in a suit, right? T -t 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 -ten Tenma Taro! Tenma Taro? Taro? Is it Taro? It's Taro, right? The demon from the for Forbidden Chamber? Ah! Please don't hurt me! Be gone! Be gone! Be gone! Psst. Better watch out, little girl, or I'll snatch you away! Ha 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 ha! Ah! Charm! 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 Where's that dying go to heaven charm? Oh, she put it on her own forehead this time. She sure gives up quick. Huh? Why is everyone hiding their faces? Taro? Is it Taro? Like Tar? Okay. Uh. If there's one thing I've learned, amateur occultist in chat, is that you really want a mark to stay on you forever, you need to tattoo it. <laughs> Uh. Okay. Hey, you there. You mustn't stare at Tenma Taro like that. Lower your eyes. He'll steal your soul if you're not careful! Huh? Steal my soul? Seriously? Your devilry stops here and now, Tenma Taro. 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 Now what? Look, Apollo! There's somebody up there on the roof. <laughs> that booming laugh. Could it be All Might? <laughs> Could it be All Might? <laughs> From here, I guess that's Quail Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, my nine golden tails are proof of my unassailable righteousness. In my headcanon, the demon mince pronounces her name on purpose. <laughs> With my band of 100 minions, I vanquish evil from the land. I am the wrestler of righteousness. Yaha! Oh, it is All Might. Oh god, okay. <laughs> this is very good. Winter music. Literally has a wrestling Nine tails belt. For BBW. Yeah, right. Strong fox, strong fox, strong fox. The golden lord of Yokai, the amazing Ninetales is here. Fear not, good little boys and girls, for I shall defeat Tenma Taro. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! It's the amazing Nine Tails. Up to no good. Up to your no good tricks again, eh, Tenma Taro? Well, not on my watch. Ah! Winter Mew. Missile is there. <laughs> There's nothing to fear now, my child. Missile. That wasn't. I don't think that was quite a high enough voice to be Missile's voice or excited enough. I have banished Tenma Taro. You and your people can now live in peace. Thank you, Mr. Amazing Ninetales, sir. Now, I must be off. Another match and another foe to vanquish. Await.
Yes, summon casual slam jam. <laughs> Come off my DMing high, time for bed. Have a wonderful night, sword. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> See ya. What, what was that all about? Did that wrestler just chase off a yokai? Looked like he came out of the alderman's manor. That was the amazing Ninetales! He's a pro wrestler from right here in Ninetales Vale. <laughs> Literally a pro wrestler. <laughs> yeah, he, he already has a belt, he's a champion, right? But no one knows his true identity. Jinxie sure seems chipper all of a sudden. What was that all about him banishing Tenma Taro? Uh, that was a yokai exorcism. It's an annual ritual where Tenma Taro is released to remind us of his wickedness. In the end, the nine-tailed fox drives Tenma Taro out and purifies our village. But the amazing Ninetales did the honors this year. So that was the big surprise, huh? The amazing Ninetales and Tenma Taro. Huh. Well, whatever floats your boat. Um. Oh, would you look at the time? I better get back to work. Please excuse me. She's a strange one, all right. Apollo, who are you to judge this girl? <laughs> yes, thank you, Trucy. Um, I think she's sweet in her own special way. Knowing Trucy, she probably has lots of friends who are sweet in their own way. Apollo! Stop being so rude! Uh, well, we still have some time to kill. Trucy's the accepting and lovable person I wish I was. Trucy's super wholesome. Um, might as well see the rest of Nine Tails Veil vale while we're here. The fun never stops, does it? What's going on? Three forty p.m. QB Manor Garden. I think I bought nearly every yokai souvenir that was for sale. I know because my wallet's running on empty. Hmm. What's with all the commotion over there? Huh? Hey, isn't that your friend Jinxie? I hope everything's okay. Uh, it's 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 t t terrible. <laughs> Calm down, Jinxie. Tell us what happened. The, the, the demon Ten Matar Taro. He, he killed Alderman QB. What? Wait, killed as in dead? Yes, and Ten Mataro did it. Ten Mataro? You stay here while I go have a look. P please wait. Huh? Ah! It's it's a Tenma Taro warding charm. It should protect you, but please, be careful. The Alderman's in the Fox Chamber at the top of the main staircase. Okay, got it. Thank you for that warding charm. <laughs> okay. Scene. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh uh oh. Oh, he's not dead. Huh? Are you all right? Who are you? Help! Someone call an ambulance! Paul again to use those cords of steel <laughs> to yell to someone to call an ambulance. I mean, isn't Trucy like there? Oh no, he told her to stay still. Um, the police arrived soon after that, at which point I returned to the festival grounds. Apparently, the man impaled by the spear was already dead. But there was one other person there, and he was immediately rushed to the hospital.
garden. Ugh. Thank goodness the other man's gonna be fine. Sounds like he'd only been unconscious. <laughs> doink doink. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. So he didn't have to stay there for hours answering questions. I guess not. Inconceivable! <laughs> I mean, they're still stuck there, right? I, I imagine they're not letting anyone out of this scene of the crime. You think Jinxie's gonna be okay? I'm sure she'll be back to her old self in no time. At least she's calm enough for the police to question her now. For now. And I'd sure love to know what crazy animal left those feathers and tracks. Oh! Look, here comes Jinxie! Hi, Trucy. Hi, Mr. Demon Lawyer. Hey, uh, feeling any better? I was wondering if you're up to filling us in on what happened. Sure, let's talk. What do I have? I have a warding charm, I have that, and I have that. Okay. About what happened, tell me. So... The man with the spear in his chest was already dead? Uh-huh. It was Alderman QB. When I found him, he was already... So this is definitely Ninetales, right? <laughs> this man is definitely Ninetales, right? <laughs> I can buy the headcanon that lawyers are minor demons, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Demon lawyers! So the victim... Uh, was the village alderman. And the one who was found alive? Who was he? Uh, Damien Tenma. He's the mayor of the neighboring city, Tenma Town. They arrested him. So, he's the killer? Wait, is that her dad? Hold on. Yeah. This is a very good portrait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or whatever the Tampa Bay Tauntaun. <laughs> uh, ta Tenma Taro. Tenma Taro. Nuh uh, Papa didn't kill anyone. Papa, as in your father? That's right! Jinxie's dad is mayor of Tenma Town. No way. Uh, yes, way, but he's innocent. This just got way more complicated. The victim was the alderman of the Nine Tails Vale. And Jinxie's father, the mayor of Tenma Town, was arrested for the crime. <sighs> Sounds like we have some investigating to do. I know this is difficult, Jinxie, but you need to hang in there. I know. I'll try my best. So should I be pronouncing it like... Temma? Temma Taro? Uh... So make it- okay, so Tema. Okay, got it. Thank you, Carrie. Try to remember that. Uh, would you mind telling me a little bit more about the victim? So the victim was the village alderman? What can you tell me about him? His name was Rex QB. They say his family has ties to the legendary nine-tailed fox. Uh, when you make an M sound, your lips close, and when you make N, you touch your tongue to your teeth. So, Tem... no. No, Tem... <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Me trying to figure this out right now on air. <laughs> Hello there, Sync and Party of Eight. Welcome. Welcome in, everyone. Let's see. Shout out. Serendipity Sync. Will of the Wisps, how are you enjoying that game? I want to play it, but I'm worried it's going to be too difficult. <laughs> Try going N and then turning it into an M. Ten, ten. 
There's an, I, okay, yeah, but I, do you know how much shit I'm gonna get for playing on easy mode, Sink? <laughs> Are you playing on easy mode? Fuck the haters. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like I, I could probably... I, I'm probably fine. I did beat the other game. I beat, um... Ori in the Blind Forest, even though I fucking hated the escape sequence stuff. Um... No, but there is if you need it. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well today. Uh, we're just- we're, we're doing some Ace Attorney. We just started a new case today, the second case in this game of Dual Destinies. Um, there was just a murder, and we're trying to figure out what's going on. This one's way more combat-focused. Okay, that's actually- that's really good to hear. I also know that some of the developers who worked on AM2R, the, uh, another Metroid 2 remake, ended up working on, uh, Will of the Wisps, so... That's why I- I- I was- I- I'm interested in playing it. I know it's on Game Pass, but I'm- I'm- that's good to know that there is, um... Uh, more combat stuff. <laughs> She's- she is cautious, uh, Chocobo Lady. <laughs> She's just cautious. To be fair, her- her- her dad just got arrested as well. <laughs> she has a very good expression. I really love it. Crime won't nag you for being on easy, will nag you for using a shield. Yeah, right? <laughs> Finally managed to get Twitch loaded. Has the internet been acting screwed today? For you? No, it hasn't. That- that sucks. I wonder if it's your area. Do I have transcoding today? I do not. I haven't had transcoding today for either stream, so that could be it. That could be why. Um, but yeah, welcome everyone. Uh, you're probably through the ads now. <laughs> welcome everyone who came from Sarah Bitty Sink's channel. I'm Metroid Crime. I'm a variety streamer. I do a whole bunch of stuff. Right on during the night times, we usually do like st it's story time, so I do a little bit of voice acting. Um, and yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's what's going on right now. No shields in Ori, you're safe. Okay, good. Good, good. <laughs> okay. His name is Rex QB. They say his family has ties to the legendary Nine-Tailed Fox. He was really kind and he always looked out for me. He was a former pro wrestler, and I even heard he was the- or he knew the- This is some fucking Spider-Man bullshit. <laughs> this is some Spider-Man bullshit. Uh, he was a former pro wrestler, and I even heard he knew the amazing Nine-Tails. A former pro wrestler, huh? Hmm. That's something to keep in mind. With your father being mayor and all, I guess you're originally from Tema Town, right? So then, why did you come work here? It was to overcome your fears, right, Jinxie? Uh-huh. Plus, Mama was from Ninetales Vale, though she's no longer with us. She loved these flowers. I always wanted to live where Ninetale flowers grew. Wow! What a beautiful flower! And with exactly nine petals, too. Just looking at them gives me courage, even when I'm scared of yokai. A flower only found in Ninetales Vale, it boosts Jinxie's courage because it was her mother's favorite. That's sweet. Jinxie, when you first told us what happened, you said the killer was a demon? Uh-huh. The warding charm on the Forbidden Chamber's door? It's been... removed. The Forbidden Chamber's door? That big door that was barred shut? What is going on with the, the art for this? <laughs> what is- what is this? There's like a okay. Uh... There wasn't a charm on it when I checked it out, so I guess it was removed by someone. That's how Tema Taro escaped. Ooh. Oh! But when... When I try and remember what happened, it all goes... fuzzy. Jinxie, you should go get some rest. You've been through a lot today. Between the warning charm being removed and the black feathers and weird tracks, I could see how a superstitious person might think a demon was the killer. Apollo! 
Maybe this is your chance. Chance for what? To do the right thing and defend Jinxie's dad in court. Duh. Who, me? Wouldn't a man like Mara Ten Tema have access to more experienced lawyers? Apollo, you have a, like a 100% win rate. I don't know what you're doing here. <laughs> like you've won four cases. Like, come on. Um, uh, you want to know what detectives said or what the detectives said? They doubted there was a lawyer who could get a non-guilty verdict in this one. Sounds like they're expecting an open and shut case. Don't worry, Jinxie. If anyone can prove your dad's innocence, it's Polly. What? You'll accept the case, won't you, Polly? Angry Trucy! Oh, it's all over, isn't it? Oh, I'll, I'll be all alone for the rest of my life. Oh, right. Jinxie's already lost her mother. Ugh, all right. Jinxie, leave your father's defense to me. Attaboy, Polly! You're gonna help Papa, Mr. Demon Lawyer? Sorry, Papa, pause. Mr. Demon Lawyer? Yep, because that's what lawyers do. Plus, no toilet cleaning for a while. <laughs> Don't piss off, Trucy, I'm getting Kill Bill music vibes. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Everything goes black and white and zoom in on everyone's eyes as the siren goes off. Uh, I'll do whatever it takes to make sure your father walks away a free man. Th thank you, Mr. Demon Lawyer. I can tell you're one of the good ones. Red demons are usually so mean. It's been a while, but I'll be fine. I'll be fine! Ready or not, here comes justice. He's fine! She calls him a demon because of his hair and suit, yes. Because he's wearing a red suit and he has the little demon horns. Uh, <laughs> Angry Trucy just reminds me that I miss Missile. Missile is such a good boy. Guess I gotta go meet my new client. Ah, uh, but before I forget, I better jot this down in my notebook. Hey, Apollo, what's the notebook for? Oh, I just thought I should jot down some stuff about the case. And so I don't misplace them, I'm putting my notes in the court record. I guess it's what you would call a to-do list. Oh? Sounds handy. To read my notes, I just open up the court record. Oh, cool, okay. So this is a new feature they introduced for this game, which is actually pretty neat. It's like, these are the things you gotta do. Oh, cool. Oh, so we get a, a brief of the case here. Um, okay. The victim suffered a fatal abdominal spear thrust and black feathers and tracks were, around, were found at the scene. Um, and the tap on the bottom tab switched my notes. Oh, I almost forgot. So, about Jinxie's father. No matter how scary he seems, promise me you'll resist the urge to run away. Wait, what? His angry glare can paralyze you with fear. How old is QB? Hold on. Are they in this yet? 46. 45 and 46. No age. Wait, they have different colored eyes, unless he's wearing contacts. Hmm. And some claim that he can even shoot laser beams from his eyes. Well, maybe Papa isn't really that scary. A paralyzing stare, laser beams from his eyes, he sounds like some kind of monster. Hmm, I think it's about time I see Jinxie off. I'll head back to the office after I'm done. Okay, thanks. Bye. Where are we going? Detention center? Detention center. Actually, you know what? Hey, it's been an hour. We should take a break. Um, please, everyone. Actually, I should probably drink some, you know, water instead of just tea. Please, everyone, take this time. Go stand up. Go do a stretch. Go grab some water. Winter and I will mute. see you. Hashtag self-care. Self-care. I will see you in, like, a few minutes. Be right back.
I'm back. <laughs> Hi. Um, yeah, that font, the font I am using for the chat is, um, monospaced, so that everything is, like, exactly the same width, which is really nice for a lot of reasons. Um, also, it looks cool. Um... Phoenix right, Phee, Nix, right. F-E equals iron, iron, Nix, correct. Iron is strong, being correct is unbeatable. Nick is strong is unbeatable. Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Who's Nick? <laughs> okay, April 17th. I Okay, yeah, so I went out to go take a break and Penny was like, Oh my god! Um... And, uh, <laughs> I literally sat there just, like, tapping her and she'd meow for, like, a full fucking minute and a half. I'm pretty sure most of my break was spent <laughs> tapping Penny. <laughs> uh. Very, very talkative cat. Very talkative cat. Okay, April 17th. This has... D d d what am I... I just tried to mix the word detention center and visitor in the same I just, like, my mouth just tried to pronounce all three of those words at once. <laughs> detention center visitor's room. Need a trainer with treats to lay in view of the cat cam. I tried putting the bananas over here. Most of the bananas. Look, hold on. The bananas are in place. Uh. Bananas, they're in place. But there's no cat. Tried. Ugh. Visiting hours. Perfect timing. Hope he's not as scary as he sounds. Who are you? Yikes! So, so, so you're Damien Tema, right? I'm, uh, I'm Apollo Justice, attorney at law. That cat has criminal instincts. <laughs> Avoid the security cameras. Yeah. Yeah. She- Oh, by the way, of course, like I said earlier, as soon as I ended stream, she walked in here and sat underneath the light for, like, the entire time until I started streaming again. That cat. Uh, I'm here to, uh, I'm here to help. Huh? Ah! Let me out of here! So- sorry, sorry, I get a little loud sometimes. How incredibly rude! Um, sorry, did I do something to offend you? A visitor, when all others shun me like a common criminal. And here I am with nothing to offer. I am the epitome of rude! Wait. So he wasn't mad at me? Unworthy as I am, da I, Damien Temma, shall breach these walls. So that I may treat my benefactor to some tea and maybe some cookies, too! No, wait! Wait, wait, wait! We can do tea and cookies after we prove your innocence. How about you start by telling me what happened? Hmm, I see. So, tea and cookies can wait, can they? Phew. That was close. Winter mute. We don't need jailbreak added to the list of charges. Yeah, it's it's very it's really good. Character design's great. Is that a bolo tie also? Well, actually, no. It's kind of like a combination between a bolo and like um a tiny tie. Uh, seems like a good guy, but with a face like that, I can see why he's misunderstood. What should we do first? We present. I'm an attorney. I'm an attorney. Thank you for agreeing to defend me. Oh, no thanks required. Just doing my job. Resting bastard face. <laughs> he's even scarier when he's not saying anything. Um, nice day today, huh? Hmm. I, uh, I love nice days like these. It's, uh, perfect lawyering weather. <laughs> uh, the trial is tomorrow. Yes, right, the trial. Why do I keep blabbering on like that? Yeah, nice day to be in jail. 
I mean, technically he was not in jail earlier today. He has a demon protection helmet on, but the demon was already inside him when he put it on, so now it's stuck. Oh no! <laughs> Reason for arrest. Let's see. You know what? I didn't. I haven't saved in a while. Let's just let's do that. Uh, Mayor Temma, do you mind if I ask why you were arrested? You know, I always want to smash my table, but that's re a really bad idea. <laughs> I feel like things might fall if I do that. Just gently tap. Ugh. Whoa. S sorry, I guess some things are better left unsaid. Ugh. Excuse me? To think a public paragon such as I could be treated like this. This arrest should have never happened. <laughs> no, I wouldn't tap Penny that hard, though. That, that's that's harder than I would yeah. <laughs> With Penny, it's more like a poke, or I just I grab like her back and do a little wiggle. You need a designated Hulk space in your stream place for smashing. Yeah, I don't really have anything that I could do that with. Oh wait, I could smack like, but I don't think anyone. Can, I don't know if anyone can hear that. I have like a cabinet right here. Acts like a table. Actually, is it shaking my desk when I do that? No, it isn't. Okay. <laughs> Designated Hulk space. Uh, go on. I fear the ill effects will it will have on our youth. Now I've but one choice. I must leave here at once, if only to protect the moral fiber of our youth. No, wait. You can protect the moral fiber of our youth after you've been declared not guilty. Hmm. I suppose you're right. Ew. Our youth just came this close to quite a scare. My fingerprints were on the spear that killed Alderman QB. That's why I was arrested. Your prints were on the murder weapon? That's never good. Any idea how they got there? <laughs> a tiny side table only there for smashing. I wish I had room for that. I'm in a very tiny room. Um, I'm also in kind of a weird spot. Anywhere I could put a table is behind my green screen. Um... Yeah. Well, it's okay. We have we have cabinet for smashing. <laughs> Even though it's probably not very loud. <laughs> uh, none, for I hardly remember a thing, you see. Yeah, he got smacked over the head. I was fast asleep at the time. Someone must have slipped me a sleeping pill or something. Folly a desk, smack and play it back when you need it. That's a good idea, too. <laughs> What's worse, somebody clobbered me on the head. I see. A drug-induced slumber and a blow to the head. No wonder you hardly remember a thing. Oh. Huh? What was- was that some kind of strange laugh? <laughs> oh. Well, I think we can safely assume your prints were planted while you were unconscious. What do the police have on you, so far as a motive is concerned? Truth be told, there's been a bit of trouble between the Alderman and I as of late. Oh? Was it personal in nature? N nothing like that, it's a long story. But, suffice to say I've been pushing to merge Ninetales Vale with Temma Town. Surrender Ninetales Vale to Tenma Town now! Yikes. That's what I told him. I'd like to tell you to stop shouting like that, but I'm too scared. Just outshout him, Apollo! Cords of Steel! I'm fine! So, um... What's the motive the police have established for Alderman's murder? Indeed it is. After all, Alderman QB was dead set against a municipal murder. And that's why they think you killed him. He was in your way. Ugh. Curses. Spirits. Um, Maritema, are you okay? Jinxie, forgive me. I never meant to worry you like this. It'll work out fine. Just leave it to me. If 
If only it really were that easy. I don't even know where to start. Thank you for meeting with me, Mayor Tenma. Please wait. My daughter, Jinxie. Yes? She... she already lost her mother. And now with me being held in here, I fear she'll be terribly lonely. I hesitate to ask, but... I beg you, be a friend to her in her time of need. Leave it to me! Trucy and I will look out for your daughter. I shall rest a little easier then. You know, you remind me of some of the new friends Jinxie has been talking about. New friends? Yes, it seems she's made some new friends since she started working in Ninetales Vale. They're quite the unusual bunch, too. There's a lady with an exceptionally long neck. A young lad with an incredibly long tongue, and many other interesting characters. Friends? Sounds more like a bunch of monsters to me. Now, if you would excuse me, here's my time is up. Bye. Uh... Heard you can take vitamins from moral fiber. <laughs> Metamucil fiber, moral, and medicinal. <laughs> Looks like Nick is getting a new daughter. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Time to adopt more children. <laughs> uh, phew. Why am I so tired? I must have been more tense than I thought. Still, I'm glad he didn't turn out to be as scary as he looks. A call? Oh, it's Mr. Wright. <laughs> God damn it. I love that that's how he answers his phone. Justice here! Apollo, is that you? Hi, Mr. Wright. What can I do for you? Trucy told me you've taken out a new case. Oh, that. Yeah, it was kind of spur of the moment. He's actually calling me about a case? That's fine, but I have a favor to ask. <laughs> Hello there, Krim. Indict indeed. Lord underscore Krim. Indict. <laughs> Thank you. Hope you're doing well tonight. Uh... Winter mute. <laughs> uh, do they limit the amount of time a defendant can spend with their lawyer? It seems like that is the f the the fact the facts of this game. Yes, in this universe, um, I don't I don't know if it's it's I think it's um the amount of time they can spend with anyone. But question mark? I don't actually remember. This is like the judge who named his kid Law Free and then had a political commercial explaining the name as Law and Free. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Um, that's fine, but I have a favor to ask. Sure, what is it? I'm at the airport right now. There was someone I had to meet. A new addition to the agency, actually. Oh, I thought it was Edgeworth. Fucking goddamn. It's Athena. Never mind. <laughs> the new addition to the agency, actually. Her name's Athena Sykes, and she just passed the bar. That's right. I remember hearing about her come to, coming to join us. I guess that was today. She took off as soon as I told her you needed help with the case. It was like there was no stopping her. Wait. What? Where is she now? Probably somewhere in Ninetales Vale by now. And that's where that favor I mentioned comes in. I need you to go find her. But I've never even met her before. What does she look like? She'll be the girl in the yellow suit sporting an attorney's badge. Yes, this ca case, case takes place uh, in April? I think it was six months before the last case that just happened. I believe, at least. Thank you, Carrie. Let's, let's, let's uh, squeeze my captains of crush here. I haven't done this in a while, so it's gonna be embarrassing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, I was only doing five per hand, right? Fuck. Eight, nine, ten. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, it was five and five. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, God. Wow. Yeah, you got double for free. I wasn't gonna do ten on one side and, like, five on the other. What the fuck is that? Thank you. I will drink some water. 
I actually want to put some lip chap on too, but I'm pretty sure my lip chap is covered in the lipstick that I was using earlier. It is. Hold on. <laughs> that bright pink lipstick that I was using earlier. <laughs> Thank you for this present, which I assume is my Christmas gift. Um, no, it's, it's your- what's- what's holidays? It's your September gift. Happy September. <laughs> it's a shame that none of this case takes place on the 20th. Yeah, it's the 17th, right? I think it said it was the 17th. Who knows, it might go into the 20th. September miss, yeah. <laughs> Not pink watermelon. <laughs> I actually, I need to like re dye my hair. It's faded a whole bunch at the bottom. Okay. Um, she'll be the girl in the yellow suit sporting an attorney's badge. Okay, I'll find her. A new addition to the agency. Well, I'd better get back to Nine Tails Vale quick. September Miss Quarantine Spring Miss? <laughs> Holy fuck. Was it, wait, was that, what was it? March Miss? Quarantine Spring Miss? Was March, right? Yeah, the second half of Quarantine Spring Miss. Oh, May, okay, okay. <laughs> May Miss Quarantine Spring Miss. Uh, very good. Okay, I don't know where to go next. It's not September, Miss. It's September. September. <laughs> September, Miss. Sorry. I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around that word. September, Miss. Wow, I just looked at the walkthrough. September miss. Septem September miss. I just looked at the walkthrough and we're not even halfway through this case today. This is gonna <laughs> Okay. Hmm. I wonder if I'm not gonna if I'm only gonna be able to do like half of what I was expecting to do today. I might have to split this into two streams. Okay. Um Where the fuck do I go? Yokai Lane or the Manor Garden? We have to look for Athena. Let's go here. Oh yeah, sorry. Quar yeah, it would be quarantine fall, miss. It is the fall. <laughs> September, miss. Quarantine fall, miss. Nine Tails Vale, Yokai Lane. I already told you! I'm a lawyer assigned to the case! I need to study the crime scene, so if you would please tell me where QB Manor is. You can't fool me, you're just some delinquent high school student playing hooky. You stupid, pig headed! This attorney's badge isn't just for show, you know. Looks like I just found Miss Athena Sykes. Ugh, why won't you believe me? Don't expect me to defend you in court if you even get if you ever get arrested. Well, I'm the one who usually does the arresting, so. Fuck you, cop. Say, shouldn't you be getting back to school? I already told you I am a lawyer, not a student. That's it, enough of your lies. You're coming with me. Ah! Get your hands off of me! <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Winter mute. Fuck the police! <laughs> God damn it! I'm poor Apollo. Fuck yeah, Athena! <laughs> Think you can watch out for the bystanders next time? Whoops! <laughs> Are you okay? I I think so, but that police officer's out cold. Fuck yeah, fuck the police. I also love Athena. 
I, is my, my hope that she will someday get her own full game. <laughs> strong woman, strong woman, strong woman, strong woman. I think so, but that police officer is out cold. I am so sorry. I do that when people suddenly grab me. It's like a reflex or something. Reflex? Sounds more like a felony. You're Athena Sykes, I take it? Athena for BBW Women's League? Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Wintermute. Apologizing? Is she Canadian? I don't believe so, Wintermute. Uh, that would be me, and you are. I'm Apollo Justice. I work at the Right Anything Agency. The Right Anything Agency? What a fishy sounding name. It, it's a long story, but it is a law office, among other things. She's traumatized. Yes, yes, yes. Um. <laughs> There's a lot of a lot of traumatizing things have happened to Athena Sykes. So her reaction is is not really like out of character for her. Um Yeah, they, they kind of talked about it a little bit uh, during the first case. Um, but yeah. There's there's some good there's some good story coming up. Um like I said, I really I really enjoy this game quite a bit. Um, didn't Mr. Wright explain it to you? Oh, right. That right. So then you must be... Where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. I could say the same thing to you. Well, here I am. Now, how about telling me a little bit about yourself? Mr. Wright didn't really tell me much, as always. Carrie, I love to see her smile. She has such a cute... I love this, like, little, like... Thing that she does. <laughs> ah, of course. Feel free to ask away. Let's talk. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna show you my attorney badge. Give me a second. Ah, oh, fuck. It's not here. I have to go to present. I always forget that it's over here. Yep, Gary. that's your attorney's badge, Such all a right. Hard gal, that Athena. It's a dull, grimy. It's dull, grimy look makes me think of all the courtroom battles you faced so far. I hope mine will look like that someday. Look out, legal world! Athena Sykes is psyched and ready to go. Actually, I just haven't polished it lately. Maybe I should keep that to myself. No need to deflate her dreams about work just yet. Tell me about yourself, Athena. So, Athena, I hear you just passed the bar. That's right! And here's my shiny new badge to prove it. Isn't it beautiful? So cute! Oh. So you must be a bit younger than me. <laughs> a bit more than you might think, in fact. I'm only 18. Uh, 18? How in the world did you become a lawyer at that age? I skipped a few grades while I was an exchange student in Europe. And I got my license to practice law while I was over there. All I can say is, wow, she must be a genius or something. I also studied analytical psychology. The, uh, thought it might help me be a better lawyer. Yeah, all the four courtroom battles you faced. <laughs> I know, right? And he hasn't even, like, had a... He hasn't defended anyone in, like, a year. <laughs> uh, thanks for the lurk, Kid Boo. Uh... Psychology helps her be a better lawyer? How exactly does that work? What? Apollo? <laughs> Are you serious? Um... <laughs> well, she has the necklace of a really earnest dog, so she's naturally gonna win. Yes. <laughs> uh, I love that I made Widget the voice of her fucking necklace. Or, sorry, Widget is the name of her necklace, sorry. Missile, the voice of her necklace, Widget. Yes, there were DLC costumes. I think you get them automatically if you have the DLC, so I can probably... I, they, It's a maid outfit, right? 
Or am I thinking of... It's like the maid outfit that Maya wore, right? I actually don't know. I have to- I should go look it up after. Um, okay. So, tell me about our client. What are they like? Oh, right. You haven't met him yet. Uh, well... Cutscene? No. Oh. <sighs> and that about sums it up. He's more worried about his daughter than himself. What a wonderful father. Wait, are you crying? I'm not <sighs> crying. There was something in my eye. Um, they're called tears. Moving right along. Let's get down to business. Helping our client is priority number one. Psychology. So, Athena, you mentioned studying psychology. Oh, sorry, I'm- I was- I was reading- I was doing too high of a tone for that. It was supposed to be Apollo's voice, not Athena's. Phoenix gets a maid outfit. I'm actually not sure. I don't actually remember what the outfits look like. We can go check them out afterwards. I'm sure- I'm, I'm pretty sure I have all the DLC unlocked here. Um, okay. That's right. I've always wanted to bring analytical psychology into the courtroom. The power of psychology will bring a breath of fresh air to the legal system. Oh, really? So, how do you plan on using it to defend our client? Um, well, for example, I can try to listen in on a witness's inner voice. And then analyze their psychological state with the help of my trusty partner, Widget. Widget? This device around my neck here. Say hi, Widget! Hi, Widget! It talks? Whoa! You need a volume knob. Anyway, the little guy Gary, will sometimes say what I'm feeling. Before this point, no one in law enforcement had ever <laughs> even been in therapy. That I could believe. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um... <laughs> I really appreciate how many people remark on how loud Apollo's voice is. Like, pretty much every single character we've talked to has been like, Whoa, can you not, like, fucking yell at me? Um... Phoenix's original suit, casual street clothes for Apollo, Sailor Fuku for Athena, and additional DLC costume for Phoenix came later. Oh, the nostalgic sweater. Oh, okay. <laughs> How is psychology helpful? Well, for example, I can see people's souls. <laughs> anyway, the little guy will sometimes say what I'm feeling. Awkward! Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Now, that I seriously doubt. Hmm. Oh, I almost forgot. I have something you might be interested in. I got it on my way here. I think it might have something to do with our case. A special edition covering our case? That was quick. That's the whole point of special editions, isn't it? To be the first to get the scoop? Rapido! Uh, right. Well, let's see what it says here. What's the deal with Spanish? Uh, Tematara was seen. What? He was seen flying through the sky? What the fuck? <laughs> I think Athena killed that cop. He hasn't come back. <laughs> fuck the police. Um, yeah, somebody happened to snap that photo near Ninetales Vale. The article goes on to say it might be connected to our case. Apparently, that photo was shot right after the murder occurred. Well, there were black feathers and strange tracks at the crime scene. I'm not surprised the locals think a yokai was involved. Wait a second. Yokai is in one of those Japanese monsters? My god! You don't actually think it was a supernatural murder, do you? <laughs> no, of course not. Now German? Why not plain old English? Special edition paper added to the court record. Apollo, can you stop shaming people for speaking other languages? <laughs> That photo really hit me as hilarious. Yeah, he's just like... <laughs> it was a good photo. <laughs> um, crime waving a wand going rap rap rapido. I, yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck the... I'm so... I'm gonna, be, like, slaughter so many languages <laughs> over the course of this game. <laughs> I apologize. Okay. On 
delay, Apollo. Let's get cracking on that crime scene already. <laughs> English, most of all. <laughs> yes. Indict. Oh, weird. This is Japanifornia, but they specified that the yokai are Japanese. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, it's, so this is, Winter I think, mute. what, um. Indict. Indict. I think this is, uh, I believe it was Cavern Lore was talking about earlier, about how in the later games, they they really fucked up because they... <laughs> the way they tried to, like, localize things. Um, this is one of those cases. Um... Should, do I need to do anything else here? Did I... Oh, no, I didn't. I actually have not even talked to Athena yet. Okay, what's next on the list? Investigating the crime scene! What else? Well, what are we waiting for? Last one. Last one there is a rotten egg. We don't have to run all the way there. Okay. Then how about speed walking? Why does this have to be a competition at all? They can't make yokai not Japanese. Yes, also true. Let's see. Um... The foyer? That's a very All Might photo <laughs> of the Alderman. Got a fucking gramophone over here, too. That's a gramophone, right? That's what that's called? That's a gramophone. QB Manor foyer. Do you hear that? It sounds like a TV or something. Oh, look! Uh, there's a TV in that little room in the corner. In other news, the mysterious masked wrestler The Amazing Ninetales has been confirmed missing according to sources close to the wrestler. It appears he disappeared sometime after the special event held in Ninetales Vale today. He also failed to appear at a match today where he was scheduled to defend his title. Local villagers say his disappearance may be connected with Tenmataro's recent escape. Hmm. So that wrestler's gone missing. Hey, you two! You don't belong in here! Ah! Don't worry. There's nothing suspicious. What about them horns of yours? They look mighty suspicious if you ask me. Horns? That's my hair. Anyway, we're lawyers and we're here to... Ah! You're them lawyers come to defend Maritema, aren't, aren't ya? <laughs> Should've reckoned with that with... Bleh! Should've reckoned what with that expensive looking bracelet you got there. The name's Phineas Filch. I'm the caretaker here. Pleased to meet ya. <laughs> uh, same here. Wow! Talk about a quick change of heart. So tell me, demon lawyer. <laughs> I wonder what his quirk is. Do you know you can play Dark Souls with a dance pad? Yeah, you can play, like, any game technically with a dance pad. Demon lawyers. Bet you use those demonic horns of yours to scare the bejeebers out of witnesses, huh? Come here, you little horn demon, you. Wait, did he just rat fuck something? Oh, no, he smacked into him. Okay. And stole his bracelet, I see. <laughs> These horns, uh, I mean, my hair isn't meant to threaten anyone. They ain't? Seems like a mighty big waste of perfectly good horns if you ask me. And again, ain't none of my business, so... Ugh, that was fast. I guess he's done with me. Well, I'd best get back to work. Hold it! Halt! Uh, stop right there! Huh? Me? Apollo, your bracelet's gone. Oh. Don't you worry, Mr. Lawyer, sir. I'll check the lost and found later. Meanwhile, wearing the bracelet. Uh, I'm gonna go to sleep. I think I'm tired. Okay, Carrie. Well, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. Um, have a wonderful rest of your night. Have a wonderful sleep and see you around. Um... Like, right in plain sight, too. 
Somehow I don't think that'll be necessary. Just check your wrist right now. Ah! The cat's out of the bag! Um... <laughs> no waving wands around saying magic phrases. We're not turfs here. <laughs> Are we ending? No, no, we're not. Not yet. Soon, like in 20 minutes. Welcome, plans. Um, it was barely in the bag in the first place. That was a pretty pathetic attempt. So sorry I'm so, so sorry. Night, Carrie! Uh, I just couldn't control myself. Please, forgive me, I'm begging you. Sheesh, I almost feel sorry for him now. Look at this bitch! Look at how suspicious he's being! What the fuck? <laughs> what should we do about him, Apollo? Well, I, I mean, I got my bracelet back and he seems sorry enough, so... I knew you'd understand, Mr. Lawyer, sir. You obviously got a big heart. Um, as big as the wad of cash in your wallet, I hope. <laughs> you leave my wallet out of this. Oh ho! Hey ya! Didn't you just finish apologizing for stealing from us? Run away! Run away! Head for the hills! Okay, bye, bitch. I came in here to hear good night. Have a good one. Yeah, I was I was saying good night to Carrie. I'm not. I'm on the the game screen right now. We can't do an exit outro from here. <laughs> Anyway, plans, I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well tonight. Uh, get back here, you! Talk about a quick escape. Hmm? Looks like he dropped a few things. Looks like a pair of diagrams. This one's at the crime scene, and here's one of the foyer. He left his shoes behind, too. The guy's the living definition of a bumbling thief. Let's hang on to his shoes. We can give them back next time we see them. Where are you gonna put his shoes? <laughs> You're just gonna carry around someone's fucking shoes? Okay. As for the diagrams, I say we keep them. They look like something the police might draw. Wonder where the caretaker got them. Crime scene diagram. Boy, a diagram. We should probably go look at those. And see this very good photo of him up in the air? It looks fucking photoshopped. I mean, you could definitely photoshop that and have a very quick turnaround time. Air duct into the fox chamber, okay. Surprise, there's another entrance into there. Camera. Okay. Now then, as I recall, the fox chamber should be at the top of those stairs. <laughs> Is that the naughty room? Yeah, it's the timeout room. Not in a kinky way. <laughs> it's for bad demons. Whoa. Where did all these black feathers and weird tracks come from? Economist 42. And that air duct. <laughs> the popular opinion seems to be that they're from Tema Taro. It's probably string. I'm assuming they use string to, to draw the outlines. Um... You mean the great evil has returned? Winter mute. And back visible camera. <laughs> Even if he did, I'd be left I'd be left out of the courthouse trying to indict him. Fuck! <laughs> the word indict is actually here. <laughs> I didn't even Indie see villain. It. Indict. <laughs> 
and die. <laughs> yes, I'm getting volume two of Berserk. I'm doing it. Winter mute. And die Metroid Crimes pronunciation. <laughs> die. <Died. laughs> uh, I'd be laughed out of the courthouse trying to indict him. Hey, who are you and what are you doing here? This is a crime scene. Who is this? Oh. Okay. And who are you? Are you with the police? I asked first. Who are you and what are you doing here? On second thought. I'm placing you under arrest for disturbing a crime scene. This is one of my favorite themes in the game. Like, in the whole game. It's so good. Okay. <laughs> I'm placing you under arrest for disturbing a crime scene. Ah! Under arrest? But, but, but... Save it for the boys back at HQ. Now come quietly or else. I don't want to be late for lunch. But please, wait. We're, we're Mayor Temma's lawyers. <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? So you're the lawyers I heard about. <laughs> I almost took you two in. You sure- you two sure were suspicious, though. Uh, I don't know how many more times I can take being called suspicious in one day. Plants, thank you- thank you for the bit- for the biddies. The pennies. <laughs> Is it really a recipe cuffs- cuffs you with furry handcuffs? You're gonna go to get sent to the timeout room. Uh Sorry, we didn't catch your name. My name? I'm Bobby How Fulbright. How do I play this game? Buttons. <laughs> There's no buttons here! <laughs> Thank you, though, for the bits. Reginald Peabody the third. Yeah, you were close. Bobby Fulbright. <laughs> uh, the heroic detective who defends our good citizens from evil. The champion of justice who comes running whenever you're in need. And my catchphrase? <laughs> it's injustice we trust. Oh boy. This guy's a story and a half. So, what can I do for you? Hey bitch, I'm a lawyer. Justice needs backup sometimes, too. Winter so I don't mind you asking injustice for help. Indict him. Indict him. <laughs> so I don't mind you asking for help, but you should start thinking things over by your uh, bleh, start by thinking things over yourself. After all, the road to justice starts with your own first step. <laughs> if you don't have any information, uh, if you don't have any information to offer, you could just say so. Okay, that was the default canned response. Let's talk. Talk to me, Bobby Fulbright. So, would it be okay if we had a look around? Certainly not. No unauthorized personnel allowed. Couldn't you make an exception? Cease and desist at once, or you'll have to deal with my little friend here. Ugh, yikes. Is he reaching for his... his dick? <laughs> Injustice we trust! Phew, it's just his badge. You may be Mayor Tenma's attorneys, but you still need authorization to cross a police line. Apollo, let's see if we can't change his mind. Good luck! Let me know how it goes! I bet he's as dense as heroes come. Uh, persuasion. You're wasting your time and mine. Nobody's crossing this line without authorization. I'm a... <laughs> this line, okay. I'm a wall of justice keeping injustice. That would be you, at bay. Ugh, I knew it. Look, there's just us and you here, right? <laughs> justice and me, you say? Th that's right? Are you saying that Justice and I aren't enough to keep you out? Uh, what? 
No, silly. We're saying that you're an inspiration in our quest for justice. No, it can't be! You have him on the ropes now, Athena. Um, if we were on the side of justice, would you let us through? But, but, but guarding the crime scene is a part of justice, too. Sure, I mean, but only a bad guy would stand in the way of justice, right? Uh, whose justice is the most just here? Well, we can't have a fair and just trial without a thorough investigation, so... Hmm, oh, Lady Justice, what would you have me do? <sighs> I think we really got to him. Yeah, he seems pretty neurotic as far as Champions of Justice go. Our pleas for justice must have had a huge impact. It's tying him up in knots. Now's our chance to start looking around. After all that about, un uh, about authorized personnel only, this was surprisingly easy. Hmm. Should I stop them or should I let them through? Whose justice is more just? Well, let's get to work. We're supposed to be finding clues related to the crime, right? Right. A search of the crime scene would turn up s should turn up some evidence that we could use at the trial. Let's try viewing the crime scene from different angles. You never know what's hiding around the corner, right? Sliding the screen moves the cursor and the camera, right? Uh, we're breaking the fourth wall again. <laughs> um, thank you, indie villain, for that clip. <laughs> Bobby Fulbright, best theme? Yes. Yes, I was... <laughs> I did mention that as soon as the theme came on, I started dancing. It's very good. <laughs> I'm just getting the hang of this clipping thing. Nice. Yeah, sometimes it, it's 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 an art to trying to create clips sometimes, I feel. Like, you have to know, like, exactly just how much to clip. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, okay, yeah, sliding the screen moves the cursor and the camera, right? Yep, or you can touch the arrows on the screen to change your perspective. If there's a particular spot you want to examine, just give it a tap. Okay, let's leave no stone unturned. Nous allons commencer! Let's get started! Tele Francais. Tele Francais. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Bonsoir. Tele Francais. Tele Francais. Tele Francais. Tele Francais. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Same wavelength. Hold on, we'll play another Tele Francais alert. These weird tracks must have been made when someone stepped in the alderman's blood. Maybe the killer inadvertently made them when they were fleeing? They're pretty big tracks, almost bird-like? The feathers also point to a bird. Uh, then it might must be one big bird, and not of the friendly yellow type either. Maybe it's some mutant bird creature. So, your theory is a giant mutant bird murdered Alderman QB with a spear. It's more plausible than saying a monster or yokai did it. Sorry to burst your bubble, but a giant spear-wielding bird is, by definition, a monster. Winter mute. Did they just reference Sesame Street? They did reference Sesame Street, yes. There's some very good references in this game. I have a bunch of photos <laughs> and my phone from when I first played this on 3DS <laughs> um, of some very good references and stuff. I remember I took a lot of photos of this game. <laughs> I have a plans. What did Bappy do? What did Bappy do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stab an alderman with a spear. Are we examining this? The Forbidden Chamber. They say that the demon Temataro was imprisoned in the bef in there before his escape. Think we could get this door open? It's worth a try. Ugh. 
It's no good. It's shut tight. I don't even see a keyhole. Seems pretty hopeless. Injustice we trust. Yikes. Did I just hear the voice of someone in need? Allow me to fill you in. This door simply will not open. We've tried and tried, but it won't budge. It's an essential part of the culture found in this manor, so we can't blow it up either. Either. So, an unopenable door. Right. According to Miss Jinxie Tema, it was shut tight when she came across the crime scene. Ugh, thanks for the tip, Detective Fulbright. We didn't expect you to be so helpful. Ah, forget I just said that. So the Forbidden Chamber was shut tight at the time of the murder. Sounds like something I'd better keep in mind. Winter mute. So, when you can't unlock or just open a door, your first impulse is to blow it up? I mean, he's a cop, so yeah. So this is where Alderman QB's body was found. Apparently the murder weapon, a spear, had Maritema's prints on it. That's not good. Never fear, Detective Fulbright is here. Yikes! Uh, of course, I can't offer you any information on my Winter investigation, so... Interesting how the left and right halves of the lower lock don't line up. Yes. <laughs> In the name of justice, I must say goodbye. Bye, bitch. Uh, what was that all about? What's here? There's something wedged under this chair. Let's see if we can't lift it up and... <laughs> Freeze! Uh, yikes! Uh, no disturbing crime scene evidence, even if you are the mayor's lawyers. He does have a point. He does have a point there. Hey, Detective Fulbright, did you hear about that attack over on Yokai Lane? I heard an elderly woman was assaulted by a strange yokai shaped like a roll of cloth. And you waited till now to tell me? I'd better get over there at once. Injustice we trust! That was surprisingly easy. Okay, Apollo, now's our chance to look around some more. The more I get to know her, the scarier she gets. I hope she never finds my weakness. Can we look now? Whatever this is, it's stuck on tight. Looks like a large bloodstained cloth. The blood's probably at the Elderman's, but it's pretty far from his body. I wonder how it got here, and why does this seem important? Are we gonna put in the court record? No, okay, we aren't, because we can't touch it. Because technically we weren't supposed to look at it. Wow! Uh, this is a pricey-looking chair. Apparently, the mayor was found drugged and unconscious in it. Really? Yeah, and when he came to, he was arrested for murder. Talk about your rude awakenings. So he's the prime suspect in a crime he knows nothing about? That stinks! Oh, poor Mr. Tema. He must be feeling so scared and confused. Apollo, it's up to us to save him. It's like she's on her own emotional roller coaster. What else can we look at? Oh, yes, I also really appreciate how in this game it tells you when you've looked at something with a check mark. It's kind of the best. Look! The statue only has one tail. Maybe it's the nine-tailed fox's sidekick. I bet the number of tails represents a yokai's power. So, if you had two, Apollo, I'd only have one? Wait, what? Not that it means you're better than me, got it? Like I said, what? What? What was it? What joke were- what were the- what? <laughs> I'm as confused as Apollo is. Oh, is it because of his fucking horns? Okay. Maybe it's his horns she was referencing? I don't... Uh, 
Uh, this one's a spear, but what about this one? It looks like a giant pair of pliers. It looks like something a demon might use. Saw something like that in a manga once. Really? What are they used for? Oh, things like pinching through cheeks. Ew! Pulling out tongues. Stop! Stop! Oh, and you should see what they can do to a person's eyes. Okay! Okay, I get the idea. Wait, are they- are they- did Apollo just reference Berserk? <laughs> but I'm sure this thing is just a simple can opener or something like that. Demons eat canned food? I always wondered what they ate besides people. Um, Bobby, as in cop, Robert means bright with glory to make the pun with his last name Fulbright. Oh, got it. Yes, I think they were referencing Berserk there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Yo. Glad you could be here for that, plans. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Is this a thing we can examine? No. I want to examine these things. Why not? I see Apollo reads Berserk is what I was about to say. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's canon. It's canon now. Apollo reads Berserk. Nothing much to see on this side. Maybe I should go check out the other side. Yes, we should. Hold on, let's check out this side first. Is that new? Oh, here. His original name for was Bon Gozo. Bongo means uh, number in order, and the kanji for Zo can be read as San or Three. Interesting. Hmm. I stand Apollo now. <laughs> yeah. Um, Apollo as a character only gets better, honestly, in my opinion. Uh, like, I fucking hated Apollo in, in Apollo Justice. I feel like he's okay in this game, and in Spirit of Justice, it's like, why didn't they write Apollo this well from the beginning? So, it's Japanese wordplay indicating he's the third detective in the series. Oh, that's- okay, I was trying to figure out what three was referring to. Um, but yeah, that makes sense. He's replacing- he's replaced Gumshoe for this game. Um, okay. It's... It's a folding screen. I wonder what they were using it for. I read that the Japanese used to use these in drafty rooms, but now they're just for show. You mean like... Like my attorney's badge? Poor Athena! That cop treating her like a child must have really bothered her. Well, it's fucking rude. I'm glad she fucking threw that cop on his ass and knocked him out. <laughs> um, I was on the fence, but the Berserk reference plus you getting the reference without me having to point it out made it for me. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second, because I was like, wait, he's totally, he's totally talking about Berserk. <laughs> um, Apollo, what words come to mind when you watch that pendulum in there? Hmm, unsteady and, uh, restless. That's a direct representation of your current state of mind. Wait, 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 that- was that some set of, Was that some kind of psychological test? My diagnosis? This strange case has made you anxious, causing you to lose your cool. You're actually not that far off the mark. Ba -ba -ba -da 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 -da. What's here? Hmm, there's something behind that door. Smash Tanuki? Uh, whatever it is, it looks like it's broken. Probably broke when the door was opened. Why would anyone put something there? 
You did have the thinking face on while you read it. Yes. <laughs> I always try to be like, uh, when I when I read things in this game, and I like I I do remember a lot of the story. Well, no, like not individual parts of it, but I remember like the overall story of this game. So I'm like worried about like giving away stuff that people shouldn't know with my reactions to things sometimes. Um, but yeah, try, <laughs> try not to notice that too much. I don't want to spoil something for someone because I react a certain way. <laughs> um, yeah, that wasn't very smart. Maybe it was Jinxie. She was the first one to discover the body. She must have heard the screams and come running in here in a panic. Well, look at you, Apollo. Now you're using analytical psychology, too. I am? Wow, you really learned quick. But I guess I shouldn't be surprised. You're the ace attorney of Right Anything Agency. Hmm, I can't tell whether she's serious or not. Now, if Trucy said something like that, I'd immediately know she was messing with me. Don't fucking make Trucy angry. Don't fucking do it, Apollo. Okay. Oh, there's something here. A talisman? I don't think we can inspect those. We already did. It, it was part of the clock thing. Uh, let's check this out first. What is going on with that leg there? Okay, I don't... Hmm, what do we have here? Looks like a statue of the nine-tailed fox in Tenmataro battling it out. Ah, careful, Apollo, it's got blood on it! Really? Hey. You're right. How did you not fucking notice that? <laughs> like, immediately at looking upon looking at it. I uh, wonder if it's the Alderman's blood. How can you remain so calm after seeing all this blood? Well, I mean, this isn't the first time I've seen something like this, so... You're no fun at all. At least act surprised or grossed out or something for my first case. <laughs> Lick it, taste it for juice. <laughs> I'm already a lawyer. You want me to be an actor, too? Okay. <laughs> I don't think it's Ghost Cub. I don't think so. Not in this case. Look! A cat with two tails! No such thing. Oh, and this lady has a really long neck. How funny is that? Mm, there's no way a creature like that could ever exist. She'd have a tough time swallowing. Apollo. I bet you were one of those kids that didn't believe in Santa Claus. What's that got to do with anything? Yes, those are Jinxie's friends, yes. This is what they, he was talking about when he was talking about Jinxie's friends. The next case, though, yeah, I don't know. I don't actually remember what the next case is. Hey, this window opens. And outside, we have ourselves a steep cliff. The window only opens about six inches, not wide enough for anyone to get in or out. Unless they were a cat. Hey, look, Apollo, there's something caught in the window frame. It looks like gold fur. What a pretty color. It must be from some kind of animal. I wonder what it's doing here. Did Alderman QB have a pet fox? I mean, who, what do you think that is, Apollo? Are you serious? Can you put two and two together? No, wait, I wasn't done. Okay. No, 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 I'm not done. I'm not done looking. Hey! Guess that about wraps it up. Now, if only we could get that detective to tell us what he knows. Hey, Apollo! Do you hear something? Hmm? Hmm, I don't hear anything. Oh, right. Your hearing must not be as sensitive as mine. Um, what are you talking about? 
A whooshing sound, like wind rushing through a narrow strait. And the echoes of someone's voice. In... In... <laughs> in justice we trust! Ah! <laughs> someone's got a sharp set of Winter ears. Indict. Indict. <laughs> that was the sound of my righteous voice reverberating through the air duct. I heard it through the air ducts? Yeah, check it out. Oh, why would she hear you through there? Why don't we go to the diagram? Um, as you can see, that vent is connected to an air duct that leads out into the hallway. The wind must have rushed through here. And carried my monologue with it straight to your ears. And what a unique monologue it was. I was just thinking. Maybe the killer made their escape through that air duct or something. <laughs> a cute theory, but I don't think so. The air duct in the hallway is low enough to climb into, that much is true. But as you can see, the vent in the ceiling is very high. Nine feet high, in fact. I highly doubt that there's any way to get up there without a ladder or something. And I don't see anything of the sort in this room, do you? <laughs> no, I don't see a ladder either, but I'm not the person to be asking about this. So... <laughs> I'm not a fan of this man. <laughs> he sure is something. Hmm... I guess you're right. Speaking of things in this room... Yeah? Can you tell us why you guys Winter turned mute. up Detective Fulbright? Frog seeing ladders. What is this, a blue moon? <laughs> Sorry, can you tell us what you guys turned up Detective Fulbright? I don't know what I said before. It wasn't the, what was written on the screen, though. <laughs> Not on my watch, buddy. In the name of justice, I cannot reveal facts pertaining to the prosecution's case. Aw, oh, come on. Throw us a bone here. Excuse me, Detective Fulbright, but I recall you saying earlier that you would come running whenever we were in need. Ah, I suppose I did say that. Helping those in need is what justice is all about, but... But keeping information out of enemy hands is also a form of justice. Hmm. Ah. Which justice is most just? Why is this always so hard? Hmm... Well, how about this? Let's do a little give and take. I mean, serving the public is part of justice too, right? You know, like the police motto? To serve and protect? I doubt leaking information to the defense team falls under that motto. <laughs> yes, of course! I must serve as well as protect! Okay, I will share some information. In the name of justice! We did it, Apollo! The case would be a mistrial if the prosecution kept information from the defense. Yeah, I mean, this is a very unique universe, though. Yeah, we did it all right. But I'm not sure that was entirely ethical. We've already searched here, but it never hurts to take another look around. Yeah, I didn't get to fucking inspect some of these things, like this. Please. Look! Trophies! Ooh! This one was awarded to Alderman QB. The Amazing Ninetales Yokai Division winner, Tama Town Pro Wrestling Tournament. I hope it says BBW Belt. <laughs> Pause attraction. <laughs> um. Yokai- oh, sorry, Yokai Division? I didn't know you could have a division of one. Apollo, you should enter the tournament next time. And I have the perfect name for you. The Mysterious Firebrand. A mild-mannered, masked lawyer by day, demonic masked wrestler by night. No one's gonna hire a masked lawyer, Athena. 
Thank you, Plans, for that, uh, that clip. I will check it out later. <laughs> Um, also, thank you, uh, Lark and Sunshine, for the follow. Welcome. Let's look at the vent. Huh. That looks like an air vent. It's pretty high up there. What if you got a running start and jumped? I doubt even a high jumper could make it. Ugh. And don't rule it out before you try it. Besides, I'm an excellent jumper. Is this the same Titan pilot as from the previous game? No. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> There's a lot of characters in this game that look, um... I assume you're talking about Ghost Trick, right? About how these characters look similar to Ghost Trick characters. Winter Mute. He mentioned the lack of a ladder. Is that a ladder or a step ladder? <sighs> There's no Maya to talk about that with. Um, it's pro pr probably a ladder, right? Even so, that must be about nine feet high. Like I said, you don't know until you try, Monsieur Justice. She doesn't know when to give up and when to stop using foreign words. Uh, wait, was that it? There's no other, um... Okay, that was everything. There's only three directions you can go. Okay. Oh, I meant the detective lady from Ace Attorney. No, 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 no. No, that's not... That is not her. Uh, that's Emma Sky. This is, um, Athena Sykes is this character's name. <laughs> Where Phoenix gets hit by a bunch of cars and loses his license. <laughs> That is not quite what happened, but that is really funny, because I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, let's talk. Wow, it's been like several minutes and I didn't... <laughs> I wanted to take a break like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I'm gonna take a quick break, everyone. I will be right back. I guess we're just gonna- we don't actually have much left in the walkthrough, so I think it'll just be like... Uh, God. It might take us to the end of 2 a.m. Which is unfortunate, because the cases were nicely like two hours before this, but I think this game has really long cases. So we're gonna have to figure out what to do about that moving forward, but... For now, I'm just gonna power through the rest of this. But I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go take a break. Uh, I need more water. So please uh, go grab some drinks, go stay hydrated, go grab your snacks, and I will be right back. Hello, everyone. I'm back. Um, thank you. I, I really like my new intro, outro, and BRB screens, and I would never... Never change the music for my VRB screen. I don't think that'll ever change. I love that song so much. <laughs> back again. Go ahead, tell a friend. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Um. Uh, what was I? I was gonna say I had something. Oh yeah, man. The only chocolate that I I went to go check to see if I had any chocolate after I saw your message. The only chocolate I have is weed chocolate, so I shouldn't eat that now. I should save that for a time when I can enjoy it. When I'm not gonna go to sleep immediately after the stream. Uh, teaching kids who are stressed and traumatized over the internet isn't easy. Yeah, no, I cannot imagine <laughs> that it would be. I wonder if I could buy the rights to the song and force you to change it. Why would you do that? That's rude. I don't think you could, also. I mean, I could just buy the rights to that song, too. Because it's me. Well, fuck you, Spoons. How about that? <sighs> okay. Was it Miss, uh, Jinxie Tenma who first discovered the crime scene? Hold on, I want to put lip chap on before I start doing this again. Okay. Was it Miss Jinxie Tenma who first discovered the crime scene? That's right, and this photo shows, uh, what she saw when she opened the door. What, did she take the photo? Uh, Miss Tenma had a key, allowing her immediate access. A key? So then the Fox Chamber was locked? 
Yeah, Miss Temna had the only key to its door. Really? So Alderman QB didn't have a key to the Fox Chamber? Actually, he had a master key to most of the doors in the manor, but... It disappeared after his murder. Disappeared? You think the killer took it? Mm, it could very well be connected to the murder. We're looking into the possibility now. I mean, it's the timing of Miss Tenma's discovery that I think is the most important. Of course, I'm not gonna share that information with you. <laughs> you think you're some kind of champion of justice, but you're just plain old mean. I won't fall for that, you shameless rascal. I only help good little boys and girls. Shameless rascal? Who even says that? Well, I wouldn't exactly call you a good little girl either. Rude, Apollo! <laughs> you cannot voice his ass nine man without chapped lips, no! <laughs> Sorry, with, yes, with chapped lips. Um, crime, don't get into a land war with, in China and don't have a get in a, Don't get in a money battle with spoons. <laughs> yes. Yes, do not, do not do that. A warning. Hmm. Feathers and tracks. Those feathers and tracks look like something a yokai might leave behind. You don't actually think the murderer was some sort of monster, do you? What's the name of that creature in the Forbidden Chamber? Temma... something? Because from the black feathers and big tracks, it looks like that creature did it. Our prime suspect would, no doubt, love to pin the blame on some imaginary creature. Can Tenma, whatchamacallit, even be made a victim of slander? Inconceivable! <laughs> I doubt the mayor would do something as childish as blaming a boogeyman. So then the most likely scenario so far is the Tenma guy left the feathers and tracks behind to make it look like Yokai Tenma was the killer? Wait, what? Now I'm as confused as you. At any rate, I doubt Mayor Tenma would plant evidence like that. Suspects. So, Mayor Temma is your only suspect? That's right. Even his name, Damien Temma, makes him sound like a villain. I did get into a money war with someone during the Catanthon, switching the name of the robber. <laughs> yes. I do, rem I do seem to remember that. <laughs> that was fun. Um, and he's really scary looking too. Wait, are you telling me that's why he was arrested? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. He was the only one without an alibi. Oh, is that so? Yep. Other than the victim, the suspect, and Miss Tema, the only others around were Mr. Filch and Miss and Mayor Tema's aide, and the two of them were together at the time. Catanathon is soon. Yes, I believe it is October sixteenth. Uh, so we're like less than a month- fuck, we're less than a month away and I am not ready. <laughs> yeah, it's October 16th, I am not ready. I have to finish the website for that. <laughs> okay. I actually- I think my deadline is officially next weekend for the website to be done. I don't have to do much, I just have to fix the error messages that I didn't capture last time. Awesome, I'm excited. I love Catan. I'm glad I found this group in time. Oh, man. Do you like Catan for 24 hours straight, though? Because I don't. <laughs> uh... Filch. The guy who tried to steal my bracelet. Just living up to his name, I guess. We should go talk to him again when we have the chance. Uh, what about Jinxie? She's not being suspected at all. She may have no alibi whatsoever, but she also has no motive. It's unfathomable that she would murder the Alderman and pin the crime on her father. Besides, do you really think a little girl could lift up this huge spear? Winter True meat. enough, that spear looks even bigger than her. Give you negative two breaks. 
Yeah, he gave me negative two breaks. I, I think Tritonium also gave me a, a negative break. <laughs> uh, yes. That's that's a thing that you can do. You can you can make it so that I can't sleep, and I mean I'm used to it. I've been doing this for like, when are we in our ninth annual? For seven years? Without a break, so... Yes, you can donate for positive breaks, but it's one of those things where you're getting in a money fight with Ignorant Spoon. <laughs> yeah, people tried. <laughs> True enough, that spear looks even bigger than her. That's about all I can reveal at this time. Well, you must admit, Damien Tema appears to be the most likely suspect. I admit it looks bad, but I'm still not buying it. Yeah, it was for a good cause. We raised, uh... Did we raise $12,000 last year? No, wait. How much did we raise? Was it over? It was over 10000 right? We raised, uh... We raised money for the Canadian Cancer Society, so yeah. Um, it was our largest Catanathon to date. I don't know if this one's gonna be as large because of COVID times, but we'll see. Uh. You did get a tax? Oh. Really? Hmm. Yeah, it was only supposed to be Canadians, I think, that were supposed to get tax forms, but... Hmm. Uh, oh, and one more thing. I must warn you about the prosecutor. The prosecutor assigned to Mayor Tenma's trial? That's the one. He's, uh, how shall I put it? Not what you'd expect. That is unless you faced a convicted killer serving hard time as a prosecutor before. What the... Is this some kind of joke? Tell me about the prosecutor! Can I ask why a man imprisoned for murder is serving as a prosecutor? Because he's mastered the use of psychology in courtroom battles. Everyone's talking about how this murder was the work of some strange creature. A yokai or nothing more than a figment of the imagination. They're baloney. Who better to prove this than a master of psychology? He's the best man for the job. But he's a convicted murderer. No matter how you look at it, that's just insane. Well, the chief prosecutor personally assigned him, so... None of us are in a position to question the matter. <laughs> this really is the dark age of the law. Uh, this prosecutor... He wouldn't happen to go by the name Black Quill, would he? Bingo! Simon Black Quill. So, you have heard of him. Got a badass name. Y you could say that. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I bet you don't know his unofficial title. Ever heard of the Twisted Samurai? That's pr Prosecutor Black Quill. The Twisted Samurai? Is that because he's a criminal? Winter well, me. yes Simon and no. Simon Black Wilmot. <laughs> <laughs> yes and no. You could say it also has to do with the effect his crime had on things. How so? This conviction is what twisted and warped the legal world into the dark age of the law. What? And he, of all people, is going to stand in court tomorrow? <laughs> Never fear. I myself will be there to protect you. That's reassuring, I guess? Well, you kids, knock yourselves out. Can't wait to see how you do tomorrow. Wait, Detective Fulbright? I've been meaning to ask you something. Um, why are you barefoot? This doesn't look like the sort of place where you need to take your shoes off. Mmm. Ah! Ah! I hadn't even noticed. Why am I barefoot? You honestly hadn't noticed until just now? Wait a second. Those shoes we found earlier. Excuse me, Detective Fulbright. These wouldn't happen to be your shoes, would they? Yes! Yes, they are! My favorite pair, in fact. 
Thank you for bringing them to me. You must truly be on the side of justice. Don't tell me Mr. Filch actually stole from a detective. Stealing shoes right off of someone's feet? That's, uh... That's pretty amazing. I find it more amazing that Detective Fulbright didn't notice. Wintermute. He must truly really be on the side of the PC. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, Dark Age of the Law, Phoenix Wright is alive. It's a golden age. <laughs> Thank you, Indie Villain, for that. Um, well, it looks like we've gotten all we can out of the detectives, so let's see. Maybe we should go have a word with Mr. Filch. I want to hear what his alibi is. How much fucking more do we have of this? Okay, I'm just scrolling through. We have so many talkings to do. I'm like, are we going to finish this in half an hour? I'm not sure. Man. At least it's Thursday night. Uh, this is just awful. Terrible, I say. S somebody help! Oh, look, it's Mr. Uh, what was it again? Finch? No, no, no! The name's Filch! Phineas Filch! Keep on pilfering and you may wind up plans. the jailbird instead. May I suggest a raid target? Uh, we will see when we actually finish. I will let you know if I need someone to raid. Um, so what seems to be the problem, Mr. Filch? Oh, it's just terrible! Terrible, I tell ya! Come quick! Uh, okay. What's the deal with him all of a sudden? Oh, this isn't a cutscene. Okay. Um, it looks like some kind of mask. It's- it's the Amazing Ninetales mask! The Amazing Ninetales? Oh, right, the wrestler who appeared during the festival's special event. What's his mask doing here? He'd never take off his mask like this! Someone must have killed him! Wh what uh, Who would do such a thing? Let's go talk over there in private. Hmm? Look. There's some white hair caught up inside this mask. <laughs> the wrestler is that Amy from BBW. Did someone already make this joke? Yes. <laughs> we had- yes. Yes. <laughs> Both the Amy reference and the BBW thing, yes. <laughs> I'm glad we're all on the same wavelength here. It's very good. <laughs> There's some white hair caught up inside this mask. <laughs> so, what makes you believe that the amazing Ninetales has been murdered? You really want to know, eh? You're a studious one, ain't ya? <laughs> Yes, I mean, no, I mean, just tell me, please. Well, it's like this. I dream of becoming a wrestler myself. Hey, how about you join me in the quest for the champion's belt? What a team! Me and my bandit's mask and you and that demon mask of yours? Uh, I want it to be various burdens of I'm helping, maybe percentage of helpingness. Yes, um, plans? I can- Great Newtons has been handling all of those for me. Um, I don't know if he is still around at the moment. But I will keep that in the queue. And figure out how he does it. <laughs> I'm- I'm excited for that command. <laughs> um, Demon Mask, huh. Wonder if I could make it big. Yeah, just go get signed with BBW. Apollo, let's save your pro wrestling debut until after the trial. Huh? Oh, no, 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 I wasn't actually. Uh, why did I let him pull me off topic like that? Come on, Apollo. Ask him about the amazing Ninetales murder already. Let's go. Tell me. 
The amazing Ninetales is our village's savior, and don't you forget it. I have a plans. I am helping. <laughs> Thanks, plans. Yep, this is very good. Has trademarks a gold cape made to look like the nine fox tails. He whirls through the ring, smacking down Tema Town wrestlers left and right. He sparked the monster craze, revitalizing Nine Tails Vale in the blink of an eye. Yup, saved our village from becoming a ghost town. Now it's a yokai town. <laughs> huh. The amazing Nine Tails really does sound, well, amazing. Yeah, pretty amazing, huh? That's why he's worshipped like a hero around here. I'm proud to be from the same village as him. Come to think of it, you look kind of monster like yourself, I have Mr. A plan. Filch. I'm much helpering. <laughs> yes, it makes sense since you're from the same village as the amazing Ninetales. <laughs> I know. A lot of people have told me that I look like a yokai. Since when was that a compliment? Ouch! What's the big idea? Mr. Filch for Grand Theft. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Check your pocket. Hey, how'd you do that? Keep it. I got lots more. Cool. Imagine a Dark Souls or Sekiro where you have no weapons, just a bunch of flashy wrestling moves. Yo, I'm totally into that. <laughs> Someone please make this game. So you keep saying that the amazing Ninetales was killed. What's the story behind that? Are you saying that he was murdered because his mask washed up, mask washed up along the river outside? Hmm. That's only part of it. The main reason is no one's seen him since the special event. The word around Ninetales Vale is that he was killed by Temataro. You villagers really are superstitious, aren't you? Well, that we are. We love conspiracy theories, too. Like the mayor's diabolical plot. The mayor of Temataun? What is he plotting? Rumor has it he's planning on releasing Temataro. That's why he wants the merger. He'll open up the Forbidden Chamber once he's in control. That's, uh, quite a tale. It ain't finished yet. There was only one person who could stop the mayor. <laughs> Our hero, the amazing Ninetales. He vowed to battle the mayor of Temma Town and stop the municipal merger. I need water. I couldn't make this stuff up if I tried. Huh. Apollo, we still have to ask him about the Alderman's murder, remember? Let's ask. M Mr. Filch, would you mind telling us about what you were doing at the time of the murder? I was in the caretaker's office guarding the entrance like Mr. QB said I should. And I made double sure no one came in. I have a clear view of the foyer from where I work. You must be talking about this small room in the upper right. It definitely looks like you can keep track of the comings and goings from there. And you have an alibi to back up your statement, Mr. Filch? <laughs> I do indeed. I was with Mayor Temma's aide. Florent LaBelle's his name. So, the two of you were together. That's that's a pretty sound alibi, all right. And nobody came in or out of the, mayor, uh, the manor around the time of the murder? Kept watch here the whole time. Didn't see a soul pass by. And if anyone did, that their security camera would have spotted them. I mean, only if they went in the front door. Like, literally, that is the only place that cover camera actually covers. Someone who is trying to sneak in here probably would already know that. Just saying. Uh, so no one came in around, uh, 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 around, out or around the time of the murder. Uh, that means we're dealing with someone who was already inside when it happened. Uh, so do you think this mask is the real deal? Without a doubt. This here is the mask worn by the amazing Ninedales. What about that white hair I found inside the mask? Wait! I just thought of something. 
Remember the golden animal fur we found at the crime scene? Could it have come from this mask? Look! There's even a spot where some fur is missing. Hmm. Then this place is the mask at the crime scene at some point in time. Which means... What does this mean? Someone with white hair who is linked with the murder and is against the murder? No way. Could the amazing Ninetales and the Alderman actually be? <laughs> yeah, no shit, Apollo. <laughs> Something wrong, Apollo? You should see the look on your face. Oh, n no, it's it's nothing. Maybe Jinxie could tell us something, since she works here? Might have been at the crime scene, white hair inside. Weird, is the amazing Ninetales and the Alderman the same person? That can't be, can it? Ugh, okay. We definitely didn't guess that from the start. Yeah, definitely not. <sighs> oh, look. There's Jinxie. Milk, cheese, yogurt, ice cream, and... Sounds like she's out grocery shopping. She must really like dairy products. A charm to make better milkshake and another to cure my lactose intolerance. <laughs> I swear that tongue gets bigger every time we come back to this place. It's so cute. Spider's still as horrifying, though. Yes, this is still the exact same day. Maybe she should just stick to soy milk. Jinxie, hey, it's me. Ah! It's the, the, the demon lawyer! Ugh, not another warning charm. A parasol mimic. Yes, I like it. Um, Apollo? Who is she? Oh, right. Uh, this is your first time meeting each other. This is Jinxie, Mayor Temma's daughter. She was the first to discover the crime scene. So, oh, so she's the one who... Um, hello! My name is Athena Sykes. Ooh, I'm getting sleepy. Ugh. I'm considering just calling this. I'm really tired right now, and my voice is actually, like, fucking killing me. I hate to split up a case like this, but also it's been three hours already, and I'm pretty sure I have another hour left. <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna have to end up splitting these, like, Winter mute. halfway. Hashtag self-care. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hold on, let me just finish... I should have saved before this. Pleased to meet you. Okay, we're gonna... Okay. <laughs> when we restart this, we're gonna restart from the beginning there. Actually, yes. We can go back and read the chat log. Okay. Yeah, I've been streaming for about an hour longer than I wanted to today. Apparently, uh, these cases are very long. Which is not what I was expecting. They're usually about two hours, which is a nice time for, like, what we do here. Like, when we because we have, like, two-hour streams usually at night. From, like, 11 to 1. Um, but it seems this game does not follow the same format as the others, so... It's fine. We'll just end up splitting things a bit differently. I'm assuming next, um, next stream we'll probably get through the rest of this and then start the next part of the chapter, um, and see how far we get at that point. Um, actually, yeah, let me, let me just skip ahead to the next chapter. Oh, wow, that's a lot of... Mm, you know what? The actual inv trial might not be that bad. It doesn't look too long. We'll see. We might be able to finish this and then start the, the next part. And finish the next part, so, maybe. Okay. Uh, let me set a marker here. 